Hey guys, how's it going? I just want to give a quick update on my plants here in the aquaponics system. Um, and you know, I know what some people are thinking right now, nutrient deficiencies, right? See the yellowing of the kale, the yellowing on the flowers or the leaves of the broccoli. Same thing with the Brussels sprouts. Pretty much everything except for the lettuce, which is fixing to come out today. Actually, even look at there, slightly yellowing, not much. Peas seem to be enjoying themselves. Um, it's broccoli down here, really yellow. Even look at the, the head of the broccoli, they're a little yellow. Now, at first glance, you say, and look at this one here in the pot. See the differences? Look at there. And at first glance, you're saying, hey, man, you got to get some chelated iron in there, chelated iron, whatever you call it. But it's not the problem that there's no nutrients in this system. Let me show you the problem. Hold on. Can you see that right there? It's my pH meter. It says 8.39. Now we all know, that anybody's been doing this with any amount of time, that you're not going to get a lot of good growth at that rate. But you know where this water came from? It didn't come from the aquaponics system. It came from a bucket over it I have over here sitting to catch rainwater. And I checked the pH of the rainwater, and there you go, 8.38, almost 8.4. So I hear a lot of people about catch rainwater for your system, and that's usually a good idea. But you may want to check the pH of that rainwater. Now I don't have a whole lot of choice in it. It's gonna, I don't have nothing covered out here. It's gonna, it's gonna rain on it, um, and that's the situation I'm facing. Now I have ways to counteract it. Especially as soon as I get some more grow beds in here and get a lot more, uh, you know, bioactivity going on, it should help reduce that even quicker. But if you're fighting rain pH like that, you're going to have some problems. Um, anyways, just want to let you guys know that. So the system is beautiful. The, you know, I got everything in this as it should be. I got to lower this pH, and I have a way of doing that. Uh, I'll share with that with you guys in another video, hopefully. Um, Anyways, I just want to give you a quick update on that, let you know pH, how important. We all know, you know, some of you may not if you're new, but pH is very important aquaponics. And if you're using rainwater without checking it, thinking you're getting a low pH, think again. Anyways, hey, thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate it. Go ahead and subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.